Hi, it's Dwyer. Let's talk about a big time fight in the super featherweight division, 130, between the number one rated American super featherweight, according to BoxRec.com, and that's Jason Litzow. And he's fighting the number two rated American super featherweight, Adrian the Problem Broner, this week. Now, before I go further, just remember the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now looking at the record, what's not to like about Jason Litzow, the number one rated guy at 130 uh, from the US according to BoxRec.com. What's not to like? He's 28 and 2 with 21 knockouts. That's a 70 KO percentage. He's beaten former Olympian Rocky Juarez. In his last fight, he topped himself. He beat one of the sport's best pound-for-pound -pound fighters, Celestino Caballero, in a huge upset within the last few months. Right? He's young. He's entering his prime. He's something like 27 years old, and he's on a roll. Now, all of that said, I'm taking the other guy in this fight. I'm taking Adrian the Problem Broner simply because he's special. He has hand speed that, quite frankly, is off the page. I think boxing fans need to recognize superior talents when they run into that talent. And Adrian the Problem Broner, who is unbeaten... 20-0 with 16 knockouts, in my opinion, is a different talent level from Jason Litzkow. Let me just say, too, that I believe the difference maker in this fight will be Broner's left hand, in particular, Broner's left hook, because even though Broner fights out of an orthodox stance, in my opinion... I haven't read this anywhere, but I'm just going off film. In my opinion, he might be left-hand dominant. Now, if you look back in Jason Litzkow's past, you're going to see that he actually fought Robert the Ghost Guerrero. This is the same ghost who recently beat Michael Cassidis, right? This is the same ghost who gained weight, has moved on, is now in the 135-pound division was recently trying to get a fight with Manny Pacquiao. By the way, let me just say for boxing purists, you need to follow the ghost too. But in that fight, the ghost against Litzkow, I thought the ghost, who's one of the best deconstructionists in the sport, completely deconstructed Jason Litzkow. He uh, revealed that Jason Litzkow is susceptible to uppercuts he also did big-time damage with his left hook. Remember, the ghost is a southpaw. He actually knocked down Litzkow multiple times. Litzkow tried to get up after the last knockdown, was completely out on his feet. The fight got stopped. In that fight, too, Litzkow had his hands low. And all I'm saying is, you know, guys who have their hands low, you're either a genius like Sergio Martinez, or you're a fool, and I put Litzau down on the foolish side of the scale. I think his low hands, his susceptibility to left hands, Broner's hand speed, which is much faster than Celestino Caballero, as well as Broner's defensive skills. Uh, Broner has a high center of gravity. He has a short upper body, that actually enables him to roll better with punches. In other words, if he moves his upper body just a little, it actually moves a lot because he has a short upper body. So I actually believe that uh, Broner is simply too elusive. Simply too elusive. Simply too superior defensively to get caught with Litzow's slower punches. Um... I don't think this fight is that close. I think speed at the end of the day uh, wins this one. I also think a pretty good left hand and a fearlessness that comes from Broner being young at 21 and unbeaten 
will carry Broner to the win over the guy Foxrec right now as high as higher rated. Let me also point out too that uh, Litzow is a very tall 5'10 at 130. So he was able to look at Caballero almost eye to eye. Here, Broner is 5'7. Broner is shorter. I believe Litzow, who has the slower foot speed, is going to have a very hard time finding Broner in the rig. Meanwhile, of course, Broner is going to be jumping in with heavy punches. And he's going to be hard to hit. I like Broner in this one. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. All I ask is that after the fight, win, lose, or draw, you come by and leave your comments. Broner, he's a fighter to watch. When uh, these extremely talented guys come along, you really have to keep an eye on them as they rise through the ranks. And that, by the way, includes Robert Guerrero. And keep in mind, I believe that every fighter has weaknesses. Uh, Robert Guerrero went on to lose to Orlando Salido, right? Of course, that loss got expunged from the books when Salido failed a post-fight drug test. But all I'm saying is no fighter is perfect. And here, Litzow's susceptibility to left hands, in my opinion, places him at a disadvantage against Adrian Broder. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.